<laughs> that looks gross. I mean, it literally looks like straight up vomit. Alright, so a couple days ago when I was driving down the road, I drove past this army surplus store and inside they had a bunch of these MRE meals that you could buy. They were $10 each, they were kind of expensive. $30 total, actually they were $10.99, $33 total for all of these meals. And today I'm not going to cook, I'm just going to eat these three MREs while camping out at this reservoir in Idaho. So as for the meal options we have, I have uh, menu 12, spicy southwest, spicy south, why can't I say that? Spicy southwest chicken with rice and veggies. So that's meal number one, spicy southwest chicken. And then menu three, we got chicken noodle stew with vegetables. And then meal three is pinto stew with ham. And I think I'm gonna have this one for breakfast, the pinto stew, just so I can get it over with, because I'm not gonna lie, it honestly sounds the worst out of the three. They didn't have a really good selection at the uh, military surplus store, and these are the only good ones that I could find. I also got a vanilla pound cake for dessert later tonight. So for breakfast, we're having pinto stew with ham. Okay, so we got the pinto stew, we got toasted corn, blackberry jam, that's not bad, grape powder stick beverage, I'm guessing that's kind of like a Gatorade, it says electrolytes on it, got some crackers, an oatmeal cookie, I didn't know they came with all this stuff. Okay, so tear open the heater bag at the top and insert the MRE pouch. Add water to heater bag up to fill lines about two ounces. I can hear it sizzling. Oh god, it's hot! And then it says to insert it back into this box. Oh, that's crazy. It's, is it supposed to be expanding? Alright, so then you let that heat for 15 minutes, I guess? I don't know. I'm gonna put this outside, though. But while that heats, first we'll go with the uh, grape beverage. That's actually not that bad. See what we got in here. Oh, we got coffee. <laughs> we got instant coffee. Some creamer and some sugar. So we'll try that as well after we. We'll do that after breakfast though. For now, I'm gonna try the crackers and jam. They're basically just saltine crackers with no salt. And there you go, giant cracker jam sandwich. Cheers. It's a good thing we got juice powder because this is the driest thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. All right. So now that we've had our appetizer. It has been 15 minutes, so let's go check on the Pinto Stew. Feels nice and warm, but this should be ready to eat now. I'm also going to open the uh, the toasted corn, see what that's all about. Look at that. Nice toasted corn kernel. Almost tastes like, like corn pops, a cereal, but like saltier. Pretty good though. Let's get this stew open. <laughs> that looks gross. I mean, it literally looks like straight up vomit. That's actually not bad. It's a little bit like slimy almost, kind of. It's not the worst, I guess. Also, it's mostly just beans. There's not really a lot of ham in here. Like, it's pretty much just all bean and sludge. Also, this toasted corn, super good. All right, so now all we have left in this meal is instant coffee and oatmeal cookie. It also came with sh uh, some creamer, and we're going for the full experience, so I'm going to use the creamer. Oh, got pinto bean sludge spilling on the counter. Coffee's looking good, too. Not the best cup of joe. 
This spot I'm at is also super sick. We're up in the mountains of Montana. I thought we were in Idaho, but we're in Montana. We've got nice mountains over on that side, mountains over on that side, and then a big reservoir right in front of us that has this whole beach that basically no one's on. There's a few people over right there, but nobody else is really on the reservoir. So we'll probably head down to that beach later and check it out in between by this meal and lunch. All right, so there's a the cookie. There you go. All right, so overall review, meal number one, Pinto Stew. I give that one 6.2 out of 10. The corn and this cookie really saved it. All right, so my awning blew down in the middle of eating my cookie and my uh, coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away because it's getting pretty windy out here. And then maybe we'll head down to the reservoir. All right, so we got the awning put away. Just finished the cookie and the coffee. And I'm not sure what's in these things, but I immediately have to go to the bathroom. It's actually pretty clean. Looks like it was cleaned out recently, so that's nice. It's the biggest dandelion I've ever seen in my life. Nice. The water's actually got a pretty nice temperature to it. It's really not cold at all. It feels so good. Spots like this are honestly why I chose to live in a van. It's just so cool sometimes. All right, so it looks like a, a storm is rolling in over there. I can see some rain off in the distance, so I'm going to head back to the van now. Uh, it's like 3 o'clock, so I'm going to make that other MRE and just kind of hang out in there and wait for the rain to pass. All right, so I think for lunch... We're gonna have spicy Southwest chicken with rice and veggies. I'm gonna bring out and see what's inside. We got a shortbread cookie. I don't think I'm gonna eat the cookie this time. Peanut butter, uh, dried fruit mix, crackers again. And then this time we got a pink lemon powder for the uh, beverage mix. And then of course the Southwest chicken. Close it up. Oh, it's so hot. All right, so we got that in there. Now we'll let that sit for 15 minutes. While we wait for that, I'm gonna make my drink, my pink lemonade mixed drink. It's pretty good, tastes exactly like lemonade actually. It still looks like it's going to rain, so I might have to close these back doors in a second. We're gonna try out the dried fruit. We know the crackers, and then we got peanut butter. We got banana chips, papaya, diced, pineapple. I'm more excited about the pineapple. Pineapple's good. I think this is the papaya. I don't think I've ever had a papaya. Not bad, actually. And then the banana. I don't actually like bananas, but we're going to give it a try. Yeah, I just don't like bananas. Pineapples are good, though. Got some nice peanut butter crackers now. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. It's really starting to get windy and look like it's about to storm pretty bad. My fan just went out because there was too much wind blowing through it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go close those doors. And then once I get back in, I'm going to open this MRE and eat it. Oh my gosh. So I looked at the radar. It looks like it's a really small storm cell that's coming through. But I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, batten down the hatches before it, gets, uh, before it gets too bad. Oh no. My MREs are blowing out. Van. And all of my dried fruit, no! All of my dried fruit, fruit blew out. Oh god! Oh, it's so windy! Beautiful day. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to be having the rest of my dried fruit. Also, apparently the wind blew over my pillows while I was outside, knocked over my pink lemonade, and spilled it all over the ground. So, now I gotta clean that up. And it's been about 15 minutes. I no longer have my dried fruit and I don't have my pink lemonade because the storm blew them both over. So it looks like we're just having Southwest chicken with a peanut butter cracker. 
I don't know if you guys can still hear the wind from outside, but it's actually crazy windy right now. There we go. <coughs> that right there is lunch. Doesn't look too bad. Smells pretty good. So that's what we're working with. That is the Southwest chicken. It's got white chicken, rice, beans, a bunch of other stuff. Again, it looks like kind of like sludge, but let's hope it tastes good. It's so windy. I mean, just look at this. Look how windy it is. Like, look at the uh, look at the lake. White caps out there. It almost looks like the ocean. It's so windy. But. Anyways, first bite, try and get as much of it as we can. Nice little spoonful there. Cheers. It's like good, it's just so off-putting because it's like thick. It's almost like it's almost like coagulated. But again, it's not bad. I don't know if you guys can see the van shaking, but it is crazy, crazy windy out right now. I'm actually getting kind of worried. I had to close my fans because I thought they were going to blow up, so it's getting super hot back here, too. <laughs> At least I have four solid walls, and I'm not like, those people camping over there, they're in a mesh pop-up tent in the middle of this windstorm. I guess that's another perk of having a van. If I was in a tent or in anything that wasn't solid right now, I'd probably be terrified and or my tent or whatever else I would be in would probably be blown away. I'm going to finish up my Southwest chicken. Compared to the last one, I'd probably give that one about a... About a 6.9. It was really good. I'm sad I didn't get to eat any of the uh, dried fruit, but they were pretty good from what I tasted. And then uh, the Southwest chicken was actually pretty good. It was definitely better than the, whatever, the pinto bean stew or whatever that I had this morning. So that's why it gets a few points higher. But honestly, so far so good on these MREs. They keep me pretty full. They don't taste too bad. And it's nice that they have snacks in them. I didn't know they came with all these snacks. Like, I have another interesting coffee from this one. Another roll of Smarties. Sugar. And for some reason, they always come with crushed red pepper flakes. I guess that's if you like it spicy. And also, you have this little towelette that they come with, too, to wipe your fingers off. So, might as well use that now. All right. So, we just had our second MRE. It is 4 o'clock. I probably won't eat the third one until around 8, 8.30. Um, and until then, I'm probably just going to kill some time, maybe play some Xbox, call my girlfriend. And then I will check in with you guys when I'm ready to eat my Menu 3 MRE, which is chicken noodle stew with vegetables. p.m. and I'm hungry again so that means it's time for our last meal of the day. Menu 3 chicken noodle stew with vegetables. Ooh, something different. We're cooking. And then the only thing that's different about this one is the tortillas so I'll open those real quick. So we got three tortillas. Oh, they're pretty normal tortillas actually. And then the nut and raisin mix. So I'm going to open that as well. It's good because I love raisins. And hopefully this time we don't spill our pink lemonade powder. So this time I actually get to enjoy it. So good. So I got three tortillas. And I think with one of these tortillas, I'm going to make a uh, make a peanut butter roll up. And then with the other two, I think I'm going to try to make a chicken noodle stew little taco out of these tortillas. Throw some raisins and nuts in there. There we go. I got a little, uh, I got a little peanut butter and nut taco. There you go. DJ, turn it up. Hey, hey, hey. Get over, like. All right. It's been 15 minutes. Let's see what we're working with. But that's what we're working with. Not the most appetizing looking chicken noodle, but cheers. Uh, I had high hopes for this one, but it's not the best. It's just too thick. I guess maybe that's something they have to do to make it store for longer, but... And honestly, the flavor of this one just isn't there. I think it might be too liquidy to make a burrito, so, but I'm still going to try. The burrito, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I guess that wasn't the smartest idea. I just don't want to waste these tortillas.
and there you go. Three MREs done. I'm going to go ahead and try that uh, <clears throat> vanilla pound cake I got for dessert. See how that tastes. So it kind of looks like the cookies, except it's like fluffy or like a cake. There you go, cross section. Oh, that's pretty good. It almost tastes like a Twinkie without the icing. That's good. Oh, also, I forgot to rate the last dinner. I would say the chicken noodle soup was 5.3 out of 10. Just wasn't good. The tortillas were kind of confusing. Like, I think they wanted me to, like, make peanut butter roll-ups. I'm not too sure. And just overall, the chicken noodle soup wasn't good. So that's why I gave it that score. All right, so overall, most of the stuff in those MREs was actually pretty good. I'm sure it's a little bit different when you only have to eat them for one day and not for an entire deployment. So, so I'm sure they get old after a while, especially those dry crackers. But for eating them for just one day, they weren't that bad. I think for now, I'm probably just going to eat these uh, Smarties that I have, play some Xbox, and then go to bed. So... Appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys next time.